Hello everyone. Welcome to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So last time we created this uh, landscape material with ability to automatically spawn grass meshes and other bushes and some rocks based on the landscape material. So I have also modified our grass type to include some of more bushes and some wood chunks to make it a little nicer. So this time I am going to show you how to create another layer like this that we can by painting this we can remove grass wherever we need. So by doing that this is an essential part because when we do level designs we need to remove grasses wherever we want. So let's get started. First I'll open my landscape material like this and here I'll create another layer uh, as no grass right then as the input of this I'll use this automatic layer output so that in the where, wherever the grass is erased the same automatic layer textures will remain and uh, I'll sample layer like this I'll copy the name of this one no grass layer and I'll sample that no grass layer like this then I'll re, uh, re subtract this no grass layer value from these two L3 grass output and L2 grass output. Uh, by doing that, we will we can exclude wherever this uh, grass layers, this grass outputs are present. We can exclude this no grass painted areas. So let's apply and see what happens. Okay, so the shader is compiled. Now here we should have this no grass layer. And if you do not have uh, this uh, layer info object assigned, you can create one using this plus button. And I already have this because once I did this before to preview what I'm going to do. So right, so. I'll first paint this area. Yes, it, we have grass. Now I'll select this area, and as you can see, when I paint with this one, with this no grass layer, this grass meshes are being erased. <clears throat> all right, so that's all I'm going to show you for this video, and. Yeah, let's try again painting with this auto layer so to see if we get back the grass meshes. Right, we get it. Okay, so that's all for this video. And in the next video, I think we can start on dynamic weather. The reason I wanted to do this before starting dynamic weather is that uh, first we need to have some mechanism to control the grass areas in our landscape so that we can have things like roads so other developed landscape lands like farm areas like that okay see you in the next video goodbye